Hello again. I don't know why, but I'm now going to do what I said I wasn't going to do, which is try and crunch this program down a bit more, because um, I've had a few ideas over the day, and um, some of them seem to work. So uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with the program as it was when I began, before I did any crunching, and I'm just going to work through the things I did when I initially looked at it. So one of the things, obviously, is to get rid of the REM statement at the top, um, and we can get rid of all the spaces. Um, at some point, I'll join the program all onto one line, but at the moment, I'll leave it all on separate lines because it makes it easier to see what I'm up to. Um, so I think that's all the spaces gone, and we'll just run the program and just see, check it works, and it's 234 bytes long. So let's go back in the editor. So. One of the things I tried was I tried changing color to VDU 17, um, which looks a bit smaller on the screen. Well, it does when you join all the lines together. So I, I did this and then I joined those together. And then what I was able to do was get rid of the separate VDU statements. And so that does shrink the program down. Uh, what we've got there, top minus page, 232 bytes. But as I put in a comment later, I realized that VDU 17 actually um, is bigger than the token for color. So let's uh, put that in there like that. And do that. And the program still works and we're down a few more bytes, so color is smaller than VDU 17. Um, another thing I um, said I could do was I could compress these VDUs onto one line, um, which I'll do in a moment though, because it'd be easier to see what's going on if I keep them separate. Um, something else I tried, I put in the comments, was that you can get rid of the integer variables and make it all a bit uh, bit smaller because I don't need these percent signs and having this uh, Raspberry Pi tube processor means everything should be nice and snappy so it doesn't really matter we're not using integer variables 217 that's freed up a bit of space back in the editor again um, so what else can we do okay so oh I didn't get rid of these spaces here let's get rid of these right now something else I thought which uh, makes things a little bit smaller, is if you change B to 64, then you can toggle between minus 64 and plus 64 by doing that. So that makes things, well, it doesn't save much at the moment. But the big thing is I don't have to go around doing this multiplication down here. So B will either be plus 64 or minus 64. So if I subtract 64 from that and make that 66, I just need to add B. I don't need to do the multiplication. Uh, and same thing here is if I add 65 to that and just subtract B, then I think that will give us the same output as well. So let's run the program. There we go. And we're a bit smaller again, 204 bytes. Okay. Um, so now things get a bit sticky. Um, so one of the things we can do is as I said earlier, is we can, oh, I didn't do the changes to the, here we go, the changes to make these uh, smaller. So let's do that. Let's just confirm it all works again. There we go. Top minus page, 197. Right, so one of the things, because you can do that, you can feed in a, um, 16-bit value if you put a semicolon there is I can actually combine some of these numbers together um, to make them uh, to only put one number in and print a 16-bit value Now that doesn't generally make things smaller because the numbers are quite big but one thing I can do um, here is I can use hexadecimal so I can change the 255 254 to hex 255 uh, 254 and a semicolon Freeze up one byte there. Let's do the same thing back here. 252 is FC followed by F8 because you have to put the least significant byte at the end. So hopefully I'm not going to mess this up. Um, this one should be uh, FO and EO, I think. 
you can see this is getting slightly smaller as I'm going along. Uh, this one is 192 is CO followed by 80 semicolon. That's done that. And there's one benefit we can get up here, which is uh, FF7F semicolon. So it's a byte. Let's see if that works still. Oh, knew I was bound to do some mistake. Uh, what have I done? Forgotten the ampersand here. So I'm trying to think that's a variable. Run that again. Okay. 189 bytes. I think that's freed up a little bit. Um, and I can join these together. So let's do that. And obviously I can compress those into one statement. And let's just try that again. There we go. 179. Good. And there's a couple of little places where I can squeeze an extra byte, I think. Um, so one of those would be this 241. This, sorry, it's 240 followed by 1. Actually, that number is just 1 times 256 for this byte, plus 240. So I can put that into a decimal value of 496 and stick a semicolon in there. So I think that um, does that. And I can also do the same with the VDU 19s. So the first one is 19 plus 1 times 256, which is 275. So we can shrink that a bit. And 19 plus 2 times 256 is 531. So let's look at that. Check that all works. Good. Let's see how we're doing. 175 bytes gets that a little bit smaller each time. Um, I don't think there's any more things that I can compress because obviously I lose a character with the ampersand to go into hex and I have to put a semicolon on the end of the last one and things. So I'm not sure when you get a small number, it doesn't really help very much. But obviously, when you get a big number, you get a benefit by putting them in hex and using this mode. Um, I think that's probably everything. Um, but let's just join things together. So I join all that onto one line to see how small we get it. There we go. Um, and there's one little final saving is you don't need a colon after repeat. So I can just join those two together like that. See how we're doing. Good. Top page, 144 bytes. So I think that's probably everything, at least everything I've thought of so far. I'm sure someone else will suggest something uh, better. Um, if you're interested in how big it is uh, without the BBC setup bit, um, we can split the program there and just delete that first line. And that's the sort of, you know, minus the selecting the screen mode and the, the color palette and that kind of thing. Just run that. And like before, if I'd reset the machine, I wouldn't have the um, special wedge characters, but, um, and I've got the wrong palette, but there we go. I'm down to 66 bytes, so that's not bad. Um, probably something else someone can suggest, um, but that will probably be where I'm going to stop for now because I'm going on holiday in a couple of days, and uh, this seems a good place to leave it. So I'll let you all build up with your comments about how I can shave a few more bytes off that. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy your week and you found it interesting, maybe even useful. I'll see you next time. Bye.